Hey, Joe. What's up? Look at that windmill. Dude, that's what I just <laughs> said. <laughs> Welcome back to It's a Replay Live. And so, we're, we're looking at windmill art. Uh, we were. Also, we were talking about uh, uh, how to make ourselves more unique. I came up with some ideas I wanted to throw by you. Okay. Um, are we going to carry that trend through all of Volgar? Just just this this last thing. I think okay, it's right. a good enough. One, one and done. Go for it. Uh, one, one more uh, and done, I should uh, say. Oh no! Oh no! I'm and dead you're here. Dead. Um, <laughs> uh, oh gosh, I had this joke all planned out. And now, you have to play uh, the now I gotta level. put it all together again. Oh gosh! All right. So was it, was it really a joke? Yeah, it was. It was a, it was a gag. Was, well, now you've told me it's a gag. I think it's gonna lose some impact. It's gonna. It's gonna be really good. Are you ready for this? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm glad you have you know the confidence in yourself to say that it's gonna be really good though it's gonna be great I, I like it okay go right, on so I was thinking maybe we, uh, at the beginning of this replay live we could be or at the end of this replay live we could be like well, that's just a theory and it's a replay live theory <sighs> or maybe at, maybe we could start saying things like welcome to kitty cat gaming or if we were to get really spicy it could be like yeah <laughs> I feel like Volgar Dead inside? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you did that. Those were those were really good jokes. Those were top notch. It was gonna be more. It was gonna be more relevant when we're talking about the thing instead of bringing it back up. But I think we. I think we nailed it, dude. I think that's gonna be the joke that sends us to the. Sends us to the the sky charts. I could um. I could make myself continue to be horrible since we have lost all respect. Oh gosh. From the audience now. Gosh. God damn! Yeah, do it, do it. I can talk about every fight I've ever been in. Okay, I only that only makes me seem like a very violent, really aggressive know person. The... Yeah, tell me, tell me more about your fights. Okay, I've cataloged them from youngest to eldest fight that I've been in. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, I'll leaving. I'm, I'll leaving. I'm leaving out some some non fights, some things that were. Uh, they don't count. They're, they were an aggressive base, I guess, or, or you know, a fight fight. Um, when, before you were born, I had my first fight. So that's like five you know, years like five? old. Yeah, five or six, maybe. I don't know if you were conceived yet. You just weren't born yet. But we went down to see your dad's family for a Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I had one of the most epic experiences of my life. For some reason, okay, this is like the lamest reason to ever do battle with anyone, and it turned into one of the like biggest things ever um, for me. Your father's mother, I guess it would be, so you, you know, grandma, grandma on that side, yeah. um, asked me to water her plants. Yeah. So I took a water pitcher outside, and I was watering all of her plants. And at some point, I lost track of where I was because I was very young, and I started watering the plants in your na her neighbor's yard. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm watering the plants in her neighbor's yard, and some tiny kid comes out, younger than me, and argues with me that I shouldn't be in his yard and watering his plants, and that... <laughs> And he gets on like territorial, and we kind of start play fighting, but it's play fighting at that point. Like it's not aggressive until his older sister, only slightly older, but his older sister comes out, and she, I guess, thinks things have escalated or things have escalated. I, I don't know. I mean, also recounting a memory from very long ago. Sure. But somehow things escalate at that point. The sister gets involved. The kid goes inside and gets a baseball bat, and then also a bunch of their friends show up. <laughs> so I am fighting five different children, one of which has a baseball bat, over watering their plants. That's, uh... <laughs> That's what the fight's about. And the fight ended when I literally picked up a kid and threw him into a thorn bush. Man. <laughs> that is violent. <laughs> told you. That's it's awesome. It's gonna make me seem like such a ridiculous violent person. That's great. But it, it memory stuck with me so long because it just felt like I was like the, the, champion? the super yeah I was the like gladiatorial warrior hero of that scenario and the fight ended by <laughs> I threw him into the thorn bush. 
And he started crying and ran inside. His sister went to check on him, and the other kids ran away. So... <laughs> I don't know what at what point we were not playing and we were playing, you know? Like, right. to me, it started off as play. I can tell you that much. I didn't think we were in a real fight. But the real fight got pretty intense at some point. And, like, I was being hurt. So I grabbed a kid and threw him through the air. <laughs> Man, that is intense, dude. Yeah. Okay. Next fight. Second grade. My then, at the time, best friend. Standing in line behind me. This one shouldn't count, but it goes on the list for a reason. He's standing in line behind me. He's um, purposely doing something to annoy me. It's playful, though. It's innocent. But I turn around and I grab him at the shoulders and I shake him yeah. to get him to stop. And I am, like, I'm very tall. I'm 6'3", and at the time I was very tall for kids my age. Mm -hmm. So 6'3 is not very tall, I'm sorry. At the time, I was very tall for my You're age, You're 6'3", at about 10 years old? Yeah, right. <laughs> no. But I was very tall, and he was kind of short, so I can see how I guess that looks like a bigger problem than it is. I didn't hurt him. He was totally fine. He was playing along with me, but the teacher saw it and gave us both suspensions for fighting in school. Yeah. And it, it did kind of, like, sour our friendship, I think, a little bit from that point forward. I mean, we moved on, we were okay, but it was just kind of a weird thing. Like, I, th I think I felt he probably should have stood up more and said, like, no, we weren't fighting. And instead he just kind of went quiet. I mean, but when you're kids that age. I guess, yeah. But that is, that is just stupid stuff. So also in second grade is when I stopped riding the bus. Because I apparently got into a fight that I have no memory of. Huh. Some kids were picking on me. I apparently fought them back. I got kicked off the bus. Well, I mean, like, they took me home, but then they weren't going to have me on the bus anymore. Grandma went to the school in her typical fashion, fought them for the right for me to ride the bus, had them overturn the decision, and then took me to school every day anyway. <laughs> because she decided the buses weren't safe. That's, uh, that sounds like Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Fifth grade. Kid is tapping me with a pencil repeatedly. And, um, <laughs> he, he just won't stop, so I grab the pencil, and I throw it. He gets mad and pushes me. I push him back. Really the end of the fight. Also, this was a friend of mine, by the way. Um, someone who's time- uh, I spent a lot of time at his house, and we played video games together. Um, so we get through this fight. We get suspended, because you can't fight in school, even though that really wasn't a fight. It was like two pushes. Um... I come back to school three days later. The rumor has developed that I went insane, grabbed the pencil he was tapping me with, and stabbed him in the hand. Did you? No. <laughs> but I let everyone think that. <laughs> oh, sweet. Everybody thought I was a psychopath who would stab someone with a pencil. And I got a very different kind of respect from the school bullies at that point, which was weird. Huh. Like, they started wanting to hang out with me because they thought I was... Cool. So Banff. Yeah. Wow. Um, also fifth grade, weirdly. Another kid was whacking people with a rolled up piece of paper. Um, I took it from him. He tried to take it back. I pushed him. He fell into his desk chair, and it was one of those chairs with like the arm connecting the table part to the chair part, you know? The metal bar. Yeah. He fell into his desk, rolled backwards in the desk, the desk got mangled, and he, he was trapped inside it. The teacher had to come over, grab the desk, and wrench it back into place for him to be able to get out of it. But again, these are like, that's the end of the fight. Like, there's nothing there, right? It's just, there's nothing to this. Um, the teacher thought it was hilarious, but had to write me up. So he wrote me up, but while he's writing me up, he's like, I don't I don't even know what to put for the description of this. I don't know how to do these things. And this most country kid ever yells, you should write, he got stuck in the desk like a peanut in the shell. <laughs> Which <laughs> is so stupid. Awesome. I, I love that you made it to another level, by the way. Thanks, man. Um, all right, I'm going to wrap these up quick because we are running out of time, though. So I go to the, like, disciplinarian who has to, like, review the write-up and decide if we're getting suspended or not. 
and he's like all stern, like I've never seen this man crack a smile, you know. He, he he's just a, the the school tough guy, and he's looking down the write up and reading all the details and whatnot. And we're both sitting there in chairs, you know, nervous as hell in front of him because we're gonna get suspended and get in big trouble with our families. And then he just kind of starts to go. <laughs> <laughs> And he busts out laughing. And he's like, what What does this mean, a peanut in a shell? <laughs> the teacher actually wrote it as peanut in a shell. It cracked him up so much he didn't give any of us punish either one of us punishment. Mm. He just let us go. <laughs> so that was amazing. The next one is your bully. Who I yeah. think we might have talked about we on the show about once. Part, yeah. yeah. You got attacked at a church playground by a kid who was my friend and here's the Five thing older than me. here's the reason that I brought up the second grade story with the line yeah same, same kid same person yeah same kid who I fought in second grade decides that he's going to push you down and spit on you at a church playground with his like his friends or his, yeah. his, his brother and and a bunch kids. of other kids yeah it was, it was like the whole church gang yeah and it was almost like a gang it's I'm not even super weird oh. I can't remember that guy. So, Grandma and Mom make me promise not to do anything to him. I go to school. He sits down at my lunch table. I say, you should probably leave. Mm. He says, nothing at all. Sits down, starts eating his lunch. Other people look at him, because I've already told them. Like, if he messes with me, I'm going to destroy him today. <laughs> um, he, uh, <laughs> he, he sits down, he's eating... We're, we're ignoring him, other people are, well, I'm ignoring him, other people are telling him he should go. And he says, you know what? And he uses the weirdest phrasing. He says, Nick, your little brother's a dick smack. And I said, say it again? <laughs> and he did. And I gave him one more opportunity, and one more opportunity. And he kept repeating it, and he kept repeating, like, like as if I hadn't heard him or something, he was repeating it. And I was like, alright, stand up. And he stood up, and he put his hands in his pockets, and I just rocked the shit out of him. <laughs> like... I beat the crap out of him. And then I uh, explained what happened to the uh, the principals, and I don't think I got in trouble for that one either. I didn't get suspended. Wow. I got in trouble, but I didn't get suspended. I think I got, like, detention and some stuff. Um, because they understood that, like, he went after you, and, you know, that's not cool. Um, the only the last one is real quick. I made some of my, my best friends in high school at a new school um, in 11th grade when I switched schools because there was a dude who was trying to lock them in a closet and I did the like classic like why don't you pick on someone your own size <laughs> walk up I literally said those words wow. when I put a hand on his shoulder he turned around and fought me instead um, but he was he was the captain of the wrestling team actually and I think he just wanted like he was just super high testosterone and wanted to like fight people yeah so we would actually just kind of regularly fight <laughs> almost <laughs> like in a not like, we made sure no one got really hurt, but we would fight each other just as a way to, like, get out aggression. And, uh, so even he weirdly became a friend of sorts. I wouldn't say he did so much, but the kids who I, like, he, he had three kids, and he had pushed them into a closet and was short forcing the door closed against all three of them because he was just, you know, he was trained on how to deal with things like that, and they weren't, um, because he was a wrestler. Um, so they, to them, I was a hero, and that was my my big like introduction to that school <laughs> man that's intense yeah and that's every fight i've ever been in i've never been in a fight as an adult that was all school stuff um there have been times i've almost gotten into fights as an adult but people have always backed down i tried to fight my uh shitty roommate who i mentioned last episode but he wouldn't do it I... so th this has run long oh go ahead uh, i i well i don't have a fight story but i have a story of trying to get into fights and not being able to oh okay um or not trying to get into fights, you, but wanting you... to get into fights. Oh, okay. And I, I, like, I just, like, I never have a good enough reason to fight anybody. Yeah. The one time, I, like, somebody threw a basketball at my balls once in gym class. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you mentioned this. I just, I just uh, grabbed him by the shoulders and put him in. I was a big guy. I was weighed a lot more than he did. And yeah. I just slammed him into the wall. And uh, that fight didn't happen. Uh, but, man, that was the closest I ever came. And that, actually, one more before we go. Um, <laughs> it's run long. This this kid accused me of stealing his iPod. I don't know if I told this one on the show. Um, uh, yeah, I think you did. Okay. Well, he accused me of stealing his iPod. Uh, like followed me the whole way to the bus, asked me to go into the bathroom with him, and 
<laughs> and then uh, he punched me in the face as I was walking to the bus. Holy crap. And it didn't, the thing is, I didn't feel it. Like, I was like, that did, I, I'd never been punched, like, really aggressively before, but I was like, that doesn't seem like a, an actual, like, violent att attack. I, I, I don't know, it just didn't even anger, anger me. It was mm -hmm. like, it, it rolled off my face, and I guess he was just taunting me or whatever, but uh, that was... I really wanted to fight that kid, but I, I, he just, there wasn't really a good reason. He yeah. accused me of stealing his iPod. Which I didn't. you hadn't done, yeah. Um, <laughs> Which I guess, I, that wouldn't like that be a better reason to fight him, though. <laughs> like, if you had stolen it. <laughs> maybe. No, I'm saying it wouldn't be. Yeah. I guess if you're the kind of shithead who would steal it, then maybe you'd be the kind of shithead who would fight him for it, too. Mm. Yeah. I could fight him and take his iPod. <laughs> All, right. All right, we're late. Next time on Instant Replay Live. Hopefully we'll say something that makes us seem like a better person, because right now we seem terrible. We're just talking about all the bad things we do. Yeah. You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.